Hi, this is Deborah Peters. Welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. It is day one of the first full on business week of 2020. And I'm super thrilled to bring this material to you because I know that you have a really big year planned for yourself. You've got super big goals, you mapped them out, you've written them down, you've committed to them, and now you're in the throes of the doing part of your week and your day. All right, so the whole point of this show is to actually debunk a couple of false premises and to give you the tools to literally change your programming and develop new patterning of thought, emotion, and behavior so that you can bring those goals to fruition. You know, during our imprint years, which is zero to seven, we get programmed by well-meaning adults, parents, teachers, coaches, etc., nannies, and you know, we can only they can only teach us what they view to be reality based on the experiences of their lives. And so it's not about blaming anyone, it's just about being reasonable with what you're willing to accept or maybe being completely unreasonable <laughs> with what you're willing to accept at this point in your life. When you're running someone else's model of the world, points of view, <clears throat> pardon me, then you end up actually just creating the experiences that they have had. And then you wonder why you can't get what you want in terms of the results in your business and in your life and in your relationships and your body and your health and et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on, right? So the key here is to understand how patterning actually works. Now there's two belief systems or two thought processes or two limiting beliefs that are out there that are very common sayings that I want to show you how to move beyond. One is that it's hard to change. So if you, if you believe it's hard to change, then you just don't know how to repattern and reprogram yourself. The other thing is that it takes 21 days to change a habit. And I'm here to tell you that neither one of those beliefs are true. And you just really need to stop saying them like right now, okay? So here's the thing. Change is the easiest thing that we have going on in our lives. Look at your cellular structure, look at the organs and the tissues in your body, look at the change from sunrise to sunset. Change is constant and it's going on all of the time, 24 seven. So the point of this video is to give you some tools to get in charge of that change. Change can also be where you're changing every moment to the same circumstances as the moment before. And if you hold on to those crusty old belief systems, then that's exactly what you do. You just change into the next moment and the next moment and the next moment, and you project into that moment those old belief systems from the past, and then you like throw your hands in the air and you wonder why am I not getting different results. I'm working hard. And that's another video that I have lined up for you is about hard work. So I did promise you that over this first quarter of 2020, I was going to give you the tracks for creating a massively, wildly successful career. And when you nail down Q1, boom, everything else just falls into place for the rest of the year. So that's what we're going to do. That is exactly what we're doing with this show. All right, now the other piece of it is that it takes 21 days to change a habit, which is so not true. And here's where I think that saying came from, and here's why it's not accurate. So first of all, it does not take 21 days. It takes somewhere between, well, let me just say this, it takes repetition, <laughs> okay? 
it takes repetition. You know that, that old saying, repetition is the mother of skill. So it does take repetition, but who's to say that it takes 21 days, right? That is just something that got coined as a phrase that if you say unconsciously, you actually start to install into your belief system and then you live by your belief systems. The quality of our experiences come from our belief systems. So in actuality, it's not 21 days, it's 21 or seven or three repetitions. So somewhere between three times, seven times, or 21 times of repeating a thought, a feeling, a behavior, we actually create that pattern in our neurology, which then in turn produces the thing that we focus on. So could it be 21 days? Sure, why not? Could it be seven days? Could it be nine days? Could it be four days? Absolutely. But it could also be three, seven, 21 moments. It could be three, seven, 21 hours. It could be three, seven, 21, whatever our focus is, right? Because it's about repetition. Now, I have found from doing tens of thousands of hours of repatterning work with clients that typically the deeper the programming around impossibility, the more repetition that is required to create possibility. So essentially, what is impossibility thinking? It's just resistance energy. So what is resistance? Resistance energy looks like. So let's say you're having a conversation with someone and you they ask a, for a suggestion. Okay, how do I change this thing in my life? How do I how do I have a a leaner, fitter body? And you make a suggestion of, well, you change up your workouts or you start a workout routine or you change up your nutrition or you, you change up your eating patterns, you change your sleep patterns, you maybe back off the alcohol consumption or the sugar consumption or whatever it is that you suggest to them and you get this pushback that says, oh, I don't need to do that or that's too hard or, or I don't wanna put that much effort into it, whatever the pushback is. That's resistance, all right? That's resistance energy. That's impossibility thinking. So for situations like that, the deeper and the more ingrained that impossibility thinking is, then the more repetition, in my observation, it's going to require in order to get them to another place of accepting that change is possible around whatever issue it is that they're looking at, okay? So what does that 3721 actually function as? So the fastest way to make that happen is through anchoring. Now we create neurological anchors all the time. The kinesthetic anchors are, you know, tactile, it's a touch. So when you see people that are um, creating a physical anchor that then they can refer back to, to make an emotional connection point with, that will be the thing that shifts them into a new way of thinking, a new way of feeling, and ultimately a new way of behaving. Because we typically only behave from the place of how we feel and what we think. So how does that anchoring work? Well, it could be kinesthetic, it could be a touch, you know, someone pats you on the back for a job well done, and then every time you receive that similar pat on the back or you pat yourself on the back, it re-triggers that stimuli, that neurological anchoring, and you're able to go into that positive state of being. Other anchors are um, sound anchors or auditory anchors. So when you hear a song from back in the day when you were with 
that first love and, and those memories come flooding back. So that's an auditory anchor. Also visual anchors, so certain colors, you know, the color red on a stop sign means stop. The color green is go at the stoplights. So these are all anchors that as you anchor in experiences, the more you anchor them in through repetition, the deeper the anchor becomes. Well, if you can produce negative or shall we say limiting anchors or, or behaviors or thoughts or emotions of impossibility that curtail our ability to and throttle back our ability to to manifest the next level the next level the next level imagine if you just turned your focus away from that and you started anchoring in possibility anchors uh, how do you do that well you could do it the same way i just referenced you could connect it to a really cool song like I have my happy music playlist that I listen to you could connect it to colors uh, my entire home is um, painted beautiful upbeat colors and I put fresh flowers in all the time and and I keep everything bright and light as you can see behind me I have pictures on the closet door in my office because it's too big for a, a poster board to make my vision board so I've just been popping up the pictures on my office door and I see them all the time. Anything that stimulates those connection points to what it is you are seeking to create, what it is you would like to have as experiences in your life. Also, you can do that through people, you know, conversations, the sound of your own voice, saying affirmations out loud, walking and saying affirmations out loud, getting outside and taking a, a lunch break and walking through nature and having thoughts of appreciation for that flower, that bird, that bee, the air you breathe, the blue sky, the clouds in the sky, the rain on your head. It's so simple to repattern yourself if you understand that you are in charge of your reality and it's through being self-aware and tuning in to now staying in present time and being really intentional about how you run your mind and doing that perhaps every day and you start doing that over time and now you've got 3721 Maybe you do it several times a day. If you're really committed to making things move quickly, you could do it several times a day. Therefore, it wouldn't take 21 days to change a habit or install a new habit. It would actually could be 21 repetitions over whatever period of time you choose. So I hope this helps you and, and gives you an understanding that you really truly have the power to repattern yourself. I don't care what your patterning was before. I don't care what your background is and what you came out of in terms of programming and patterning. That's in the past. Choosing to be stuck by it is really the challenge, right? That's really what's blocking you. So make a new choice, decide to take charge of your reality and decide to put in new programmings of possibility and make a commitment to doing that every single day even several times a day and wow watch your life and your business transform and if you don't believe me you don't have to just go prove it to yourself and then get back to me and leave a comment and let me know how this fits for you can you see yourself doing this is this something helpful and useful to you so have a blessed week everyone ciao this is the deborah peter show take care bye bye